Well, Tyler Anderson is passionate about food and cooking and has been running the kitchen and restaurant operations at the Copper Beach Inn for quite some time. As we mentioned earlier, Tyler gained national recognition on the Food Network show Chopped. Tyler, now you're originally from California. We want to first welcome you to the show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for so having me. Thank you so very much for being here. And you started your love of cooking back in California years ago, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. When I was 16, I got my first kitchen job and it kind of stuck. Ah, kind of stuck. And then you gravitated kind of towards Connecticut? Yeah, slowly but surely. I've lived all over the country, but yeah, it's been a slow, a slow process across the country to get to Connecticut. Now tell us about this again. You auditioned for Chopped. Mm -hmm. How did all this come about again? Well, there was a casting call. Okay. And, you know, I got on camera and they saw how I was behind, you know, on the, on the other end of the camera. Which he's a natural if you cannot <laughs> tell already, everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and they, you know, they checked out my resume, made sure I could cook, mm -hmm. and uh, then they put me on the show, and I won, so... What was that like, winning and just knowing that you'd won and you had it going on? Winning is always good. You uh -huh. know? Losing's not as fun as winning, so it was great. Yeah. And it's great when they pay you, like you mentioned earlier. Yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so let's set this up for our viewers. Okay. What are we going to make today? Well, what we're making is we're making a little thing that we're making at the Mohegan Sun Wine Fest this That's weekend. Right. Uh, this is be there for one of our days, one of our events. And what we're making is a crab parfait with okay. cauliflower mousse, uh, kind of something we came up with um, kind of using seasonal ingredients okay. uh, and some local cauliflower and things like that. Uh, to create a uh, lighter dish now for winter. Now, you mentioned you like to experiment with stuff. Like, you're not always serving the same thing where you no, work. No. It's all about using different ingredients and kind of seeing how they go together. Right. It kind of fits my ADD personality <laughs> that uh, <laughs> we kind of never have the same menu every I day. I didn't say anything about that, <laughs> but just slightly noticed. I'm just teasing. All right. Now, walk us through these ingredients okay. you brought today. So, this is a very simple dish. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make layers uh, in a glass. We okay. got you a special glass. I brought this one. But we'll, he tried we'll to give me this one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I said, evidently, you've not seen this show too many times because you know this is not making me happy. <laughs> too small. So what we're going to do is we're taking beautiful king crab from Alaska. It's a sustainable uh, seafood product so it's fished responsibly okay. and it's not uh, it's not a crab that's going extinct so it's it's a responsible thing for fish for chefs to use. Perfect. Um, so what we're doing is a little king crab outside of the legs. We picked it to make sure there's no shells in it. How much of that will we use? How much of this? You're going to use about a cup. A cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So we're going to squeeze the juice of half of a lemon into it. Okay. Just like that. Okay. All right, and very simply, it doesn't need any salt because it's already naturally salty. The ocean has seasoned it for us. Oh, perfect. So we're just going to mix that crab meat around like that. All right. And then we can put that right over to the side. Okay. And right now, here. Oh, yeah, do go. we go to these ingredients or no? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to uh, make a little relish of okay. almonds and capers. And so we have the almonds here? Uh -huh. Is that right? Chopped there? almonds, yeah. Okay. And, and then, then chopped capers. Okay. And then we have golden raisins that are also chopped. All right, and then we've got. And then we have lemon juice. Uh, rice wine vinegar, okay. grand marsala. Perfect. All okay, right? perfect. So we're going to combine just the capers. Which are really salty. Yes, what are they going to add to that? Uh, saltiness. Okay. A little right. saltiness. Okay. Um, a little bit, almost like an acidity, almost okay. in a way. Um, and then Marcona almonds, we like to use at the restaurant, which are a Spanish almond. Oh. That are a little nicer than your run of the mill California almonds. We can't have run of the mill. No, no, no. Not, not, not at all. <laughs> uh, and then golden raisins here. Okay. Okay. And do we want to just stir that around? Yeah, we're gonna. You can actually stir it around. We're okay. gonna add a little bit of rice wine vinegar to that, just to wet it a little bit. Okay. And add a little more acidity to the dish to cut the fat, uh, uh, the rich flavors of the cauliflower mousse. Okay. Then what we have right here is we have a little cauliflower uh, with milk in it. Um, with what? It, with milk. Okay. Just slowly cooking. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll add the grand marsala, which it is a spice mix, oh. to this to add a little sweetness. Okay. And how much of that did you use? About a tablespoon. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and then a couple pinches of salt right here. Now, when you put this in the pan, you would heat it. Do you use any oil or are you just putting it in the No, no like oil. Just together. Yeah. Just together. Okay. Yep. And then how long would you cook it in? And that's the way it needs to look, right? Like right, it's right. Not really boiling, but... Simmer. Yeah. Simmer. Okay. Yeah. And, Perfect. you know, I don't want to ma make a mess on TV, too. Oh, so but I'm kind of keeping not. it at a low simmer. No. you got, you got, you know, expectations a little <laughs> right, too. Right, right. If we were in a restaurant, it'd be a little key. different. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to mix it around, and that's just about ready. Okay. So what I would do right now is blend it uh, and, and make it really nice and smooth. Okay. And then add a little bit of this lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, a tiny bit more and to it. And the lemon juice, will that bring out the flavor more, or what is that? Yeah, the acidity is just going to help balance the flavors that are in there okay. and kind of um, just make it a little lighter on the tongue, basically. Perfect. Yep. Now, do we want to add that, or we would not add that? No, you're not going to add this to this. What we're going to okay. do is we're going to layer the different items now. Oh, so what I did is I, I, I blended this mixture in here, okay. and then I put it in this canister. So okay, so we would actually take this, dump it in the blender for right. folks at home, and then you'd 
what is this device called again? This is this makes whipped cream, so it oh. makes flavored whipped cream. So you can buy it at Williams Sonoma. Many people have it in their kitchens right now. It's a great way to make your own infused like whipped creams at home. Oh, okay. And things like that. So essentially, we're make, we're turning this into a whipped cream. Okay. Um, we don't have to use wow. any any heavy cream. You can use heavy cream if you don't have one of these, and that'll thicken this up. But if you don't. Uh, if, if, if you do have one of these, you can just add this mixture straight away. Perfect. Okay. Right. So show me how we do this All thing right. here. All right. So we're going to oh my. bring this glass over here. Okay. I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to let you try the first one. We're going to layer this. Yeah, yeah, second yeah. Run. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. So I'm going to start with a little bit of crab in the bottom. Okay. Just like that. All right. Then we're going to go with a little of the raisin and almond mixture. Okay. Okay. And this, we should mention again, is going to mm -hmm. be one of the items that you're going to have at Mohegan right. Sun this week. It is a major event. It's a big wine tasting, right? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Thousands and thousands of people, chefs from all over the country. You said like 10,000 um, folks will be there. It's yeah, already every sold day. out on Saturday. Right. Yeah, Sunday is still, there are still tickets available, but they've brought in some of the uh, best chefs from around the country. Wow. So it's very exciting, you know, you, for a you local be, guy like being, me to be involved in. I was going to say, you being the top of the line, and he's going to actually top this off for us, but Mohegan Sun, just to let people know, if you really want to come out here and, and mingle a little bit with Chef Tyler, www.sunwinefest.com. Oh, we're not done yet. Go no, we're not done. No, we're so not now done. we're going to do the fun part. We're going to layer it with a little bit of the cream oh, or the mousse, goodness. just like that. Oh, my. And then I'm going to put another layer of the crab. Oh, and keep laying with the crab All if you right, want to. Okay. You got it. And then there what it goes are we going to do? And then this, and then I'll let you top it with the cream again one more time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. You there asked you for it. Okay, here we go. So it's all ready to go. Okay. There okay. you go. Pro. Okay. I'm not too bad. I could be a sous chef like in the kitchen. you're making a Sunday. You yeah. better watch you out. Okay, chef? All right. All right listen. And there it is.